still don't know how to start this shit. What's up? Back with another video. This video, a little bit different. Not really though, it's still reviewing clothes. In this video, I'm showing you three outfits, all military inspired. I'm gonna walk you through about how I think the military inspired, how I think you can make an, a military inspired outfit, and I'll show you what it looks like on. So, let's get into it. So, in my opinion, how to make a military styled outfit. First, start off with earth tones, your browns, your tans, your, your greens. Uh, you can throw blacks and whites in there. Very neutral, nothing crazy. You never really see, uh, you never really see them wearing like red. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I picked red. Number two, you probably want to stay a little more baggier when it comes to pants. And usually for tops, they're actually a little more slimmer from the ones I've seen. At least if you're doing like a t-shirt, they always have like slimmer t-shirts. Their, um, their over shirts are a little bit different though. They are, they, they do have a lot more room. And third thing I would say is cargo pockets are kind of essential. Not really, but in my opinion, it's a good way to show or have a military inspiration in your outfit because all their pants, all their backpacks, all their tops, there's always a cargo pocket somewhere because they always have to put their shit somewhere. So those are three little tips. Oh, also number four, boots. I mean, you could go with a leather combat boots if you want like World War II kind of vibe, or you can go with regular combat boots, whether it be like Rothko or like a different brand, something like one of those. Let's head into the first of the three outfits. So the first outfit I picked was kind of skinny for the pants. And although it is a green pant, it's more of a darker green. This one I would say is a little bit looser of a military inspiration. It's more of like a hint. On bottom you see I'm wearing the Doc Martin boots, which I'm wearing for all three of these outfits. And for the pants, I'm wearing these forest green Rook jogger pants. Now, I two of the outfits are jogger pants because I think it gives a certain look. Oftentimes you'll see people in the military tuck their pants into their socks and you get that that bunching effect obviously from the tucked in sock and instead of tucking my pant into the boot I decided to go with a jogger pant and it has that black cuff where you can't really see it it's kind of subtle especially when you have the black Doc Martin boot on. On top you see this Again, leather combat boot graphic. Now again, it's a, it's a lot more loosely military inspired for this first outfit. You see uh, it's tucked in, uh, it's a lot more slim fitting. And then over on top you have this just black denim shirt, kinda pull everything together if it gets a little cooler at night. But yeah, so number one, a little bit more of a loose interpretation of a military style, it's a military inspired look. On to the next one. So for outfit number two, it's a little more military inspired in my opinion. Of course on bottom we have the Doc Martin boots. Then, then for the pants I chose the black carpenter pants. They're a lot more, they're a lot wider so you get um, that bagginess that you often see. And then on top you have this thrifted vintage green t-shirt, single stitched tucked in, roll the sleeves up a little bit, uh, oftentimes, if not all the time, you'll always see them always having, if they're in uniform, they always have to have their t-shirt tucked in, so that's why I did that. As you can see, I tucked in the pant inside the boot, give it this more authentic military effect or military inspiration, but yeah, that's outfit number two. Let's move it on to outfit number three, and here we go. So for outfit number three, again, we have Doc Martin boots and on the bottom, or on the pant, for the pants, we have another pair of jogger pants. It is these light green uh, Zane Rogue jogger pants, cargo pockets on the side. You have knee paneling, so there's a lot of seams and stitches and often, oftentimes in camis, they're called, if I'm not mistaken. 
oftentimes, if not all the times, the cargo slash combat pants or trousers are have a lot of seams and they have a lot of pockets, so these pants are kind of reminiscent um, of that. I would have liked it if, it if they were a little bit roomier. These are pretty like skin tight, unfortunately. It shows off more of a subtle inspiration or a subtle hint of that military aspect where you have the cargo pockets all over, you have the seams uh, throughout the pant, and also again you have that, that thick jogger cuff that's a lot more pronounced in this look in my opinion. It's a dark heathered gray cuff, so it looks like the pant is getting tucked into the socks often like you've seen and like I've said before and then on top I just have this oversized black t-shirt um, I turned it inside out because it was a graphic t-shirt just wanted it plain again this is more of a, a subtle hint of a military inspiration o over it I put on the fear of God mock neck crew neck sweatshirt or mock neck sweatshirt and I think it gives it more, a little more of a uh, utility slash military vibe. A lot of times they have, oftentimes in colder weather, you'll see them in a crew neck sweatshirt or something that's a little more roomier and oversized just uh, to get that warmth. I wanted to have that look a little bit but not be too blatant and obvious where it's like unwearable. This one, all these outfits are a lot more wearable and it's just taking inspiration from certain aspects of military wear. So that is it for the video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. It means the world to me. Let me know which outfit was your favorite, which outfit you loved, which outfit you hated. I will see you next time. Have a great week, weekend, whatever day I put this out. And I'll see you soon. Peace.